So, what do you reckon to Hollywood vintage glamour with a twist? James Bond marries his Bond girl. Just, just got to earn the pennies, that's all. Well, exactly, because I'm not skimping on our wedding. Oh, congratulations, you two. Somebody had to make an honest man of you. It wasn't going to be me. No offence. Some taken. Mm, well, at least I managed to keep his ring on my finger, eh? Well, um, if you need any help or advice, you know I am. Oh, thank you. You're a little star, Priya. Actually, how much does it cost to hire an Aston Martin? And is there a possibility that me and Al could float down to the church and match in Union Jack parachutes, or is that...? Obviously not, no. You know where I stand. It's up to you what you do now. But I it. I'm out of here. What was that? No, 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 leave me alone. It's okay, is it? It's okay, it's okay, Mum. It's me, I'm here, I'm here now, okay, okay, you're fine. Go away. You're fine, you're fine, you're safe. You're safe, Mum, you're safe. You're safe, you're safe. Go away! Go away, leave me alone! We're okay. I'm here. Mum, we're here. Okay, do you know where you are? Do you even know who I am? Graham, what's happened? Well, Mum, it's gonna be okay. So just sit down, sit. <laughs> Stop bothering me! Okay, fine, I will! <laughs> God, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just don't know what to do for you. I don't know what to do. <gasps> Mum, I just I don't know what to do. I just I really don't know what to do. Somebody tell me what to do. I don't know anymore. <laughs> Are you sure you're feeling OK again now? Yeah. I'm so sorry. I didn't hurt you, did I? No, Mum, I'm fine. I was just worried about you, Gran. Well, why? I haven't lost all my marbles yet. <laughs> no, there's still time for me to run amok. You know, it could be your meds. I can always ring the hospital. No. No, no, it, it, it'll just be uh, too many gins. <laughs> Yeah, that'll do it. Look at that state of me. I don't want to be a burden. Why change the habit of a lifetime now? Eh? You're not, Mum. And you never will be. <laughs> hey. You all right? Don't pretend you care now. Paddy will be back soon to cover the bar. All right, well, I need to make plans as well, so what do you want to do? You can't expect me to blow this up now. You saw your gran. She's getting worse. Who knows how much longer we've got. I just want to make her last few months or weeks happy and stress-free. Please, Aaron, you can see the pressure that I'm under. Still no excuse to get under Al, though, is it? I mean, safe, dependable Paddy. Or Mr. Dangerous. Why, Mum? I don't know, I don't know. Maybe it's like Belle said. Escapism. Way to cope with what's happening to Mum. And the minute I go back, Belle knows. I promised her that I would finish things with Al. All right, okay, so you lied to her? Yeah. But she only agreed to cover it up to save my mum from any more heartache. Listen, I get that it's hard and you're stressed out with everything that's happening with Gran. But this is not a get out of jail free card. I know, I know. And if you knew how ashamed I feel. So then sorry, how, mum? <sighs> Imagine the fallout, though, if Paddy knew what that would do to your Gran and to us. I'm losing her, Aaron. She's dying. Hiya. What's happened? It's bad, buddy. I'm sorry.
There's someone going to tell me then, or what? It's, um... It's my gran. She was in a bit of a state earlier. Yeah, she was really distressed, like she was confused. She lashed out at me, Mum. She what? She didn't mean it. She was disorientated. Come here, you. You don't talk to me, how am I supposed to fix it? Maybe you can't fix this one, Paddy. Where's Paddy? He's giving you some space. But he's worried about you. And so am I. Please don't be kind to me. You'll set me off. I meant it. I get it. I just, I just don't want to see your life implode. <laughs> well, any more that's going to win grand. You know. Why didn't you tell him? Because you're a grown woman. It's your call. You know, Al wants us to be together. He's buying us a house. Well, the house won't be that far away, and Paddy can still see Eve, and I can still run the pub. Come on, come on, get real. This is how we're talking about. Yes, I have betrayed my husband with one of the worst people possible. But he's the same bloke he always was, and you'd be chucking your life away for him. So then you move in with Al, you realise it was the escapism that made it fun, but this time, you're trapped with him, and so's my baby sister. Al doesn't care about anyone but himself. He broke Jessie and Martin when he slept with her, and I reckon he only did that to split them up. No, it's different. He really loves me. No, you're just a bigger challenge than she was. <sighs> this is all wrong, Mum. And deep down, you know it. You cut him off. Or I will be leaving. It'll be all right. I promise. I'd be lost without you, Paddy. Marriage. Because you know your mum would choose me. She's made a decision. She doesn't want you, Al. She's chosen Paddy. You stay away from her from now on, right? Or I'll kill you and then I'll bury you. 